Today I've got two squid poles because I'm trying a quad loop, but not your average quad loop. I'm going to feed it in its side because that gives vertical polarization. Here, I'm taking a gamble that the sand beneath me will be good enough. I read about this antenna in ON4UN's Low Band DX book. A benefit of it, particularly on 160 and 80 meters, is that it's only a sixth of a wavelength high. So you won't need as big a mast compared to if you're using a square type loop. Another benefit is that its feed point impedance is lower, 50 ohms rather than above 100. That could be useful if you're feeding it with coax cable, which is not something I'm going to do today. The wire I'm going to be using for this is what I use as a tuned feeder dipole on 40 meters. When I form it to a rectangle and join its far ends, its perimeter of 20 meters makes it a full wave loop on 14 megahertz. But remember that you can go a bit lower in frequency to about 70% of what it would be resonant at and it will still be reasonably efficient. With the balanced antenna coupler, I was able to tune it up on 30, 20 and 17 metres. I didn't have any luck on 15 and 10. However, that should be possible if I change the length of the feed line. We're now trying some whisper. 20 metres, 30 metres and then some of the higher bands. I'm using my mobile phone, which I've recorded whisper onto, and it's activating the Vox of the FT817. 